act the holidays can really stir up some emotions and not all of them are good. But how do you know if it's just the time of year, the cold weather, et cetera, that's bringing you down or if it's something more serious? Joining me is Vani, founder of I Understand. Good morning, thanks so much for good being morning. here. Good morning, thanks for having me. Merry yeah. Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. And as we said, you know, there's the holiday blues and there's actually depression. So yeah. how do you know which is which? Right. Well, the holiday blues are something that I think we all can experience because the hustle and the bustle, mm -hmm. the gift wrapping, the shopping, the extra expenses, the parties, what am I gonna wear, all the stress that right. we add on to our normal everyday behavior mm -hmm. um, or situations. And depression is an illness mm -hmm. and we need to talk about depression as an illness and treat it like all other illnesses, right. like seek help, um, they're preventable, it's treatable. Mm -hmm. So we always feel helpless when we're the ones that want to provide the help. So how do you go about maybe even starting that conversation with somebody like, hey, I've noticed, you know, what do yeah. you do? Well, talking goes a long way. And just um, doing things out of love and understanding rather than judgment and ang mm -hmm. angst goes a long way. So recognizing the fact that depression isn't a choice. Right. People aren't choosing to be sad or to be um, self-medicating with alcohol. So recognizing those things and asking the question, are you okay? Do you have a plan? Um, what can we do for you? Mm -hmm. Be the one for someone. Right, and you know, and, and sometimes that's that conversation is easier to start with adults than it is with say a teenager. We gotta recognize their signs and symptoms too. We do, um, suicide rate from ages 10 to actually it's bumped up to 34. Suicide is the second leading cause of death. So our teenagers, sometimes I think that we think they're defiant or they're being lazy when they actually could be signs of suffering from something much deeper like depression. Right, and we gotta pay attention to our family history. Oh my gosh, so that is such a good point. My husband was fourth generation. Wow. And I don't think that we talk about that enough. Right. At that time, I didn't know and I wasn't aware. So for me, I have great concern about fifth generation, sixth generation, but just by opening up the conversation and asking if you're okay and noticing when my kids are looking down or going through something anxiety ridden to reach out and spend a little bit more time and talking about it. That's right, you don't really tread lightly with that thing, with those things anymore, right. I mean, especially what you guys have been through. But your organization, explain to people how it is that you can help. Yeah, well, I understand as a nonprofit that supports those that have lost a loved one to death by suicide or struggle with a mental health illness. Um, one of the things that's really important is that we continue to bring the conversation to everyday places and continue to change the conversation. Mm -hmm. One of the ways we are changing it by changing the definition with the definition petition, and you can check that out online at www.iunderstandloveheals.org. Mm -hmm. But we also have weekly get up, get out, and walk for the health of it to build a community of those that understand and you can be in a judgment-free, supportive environment. Mm -hmm. um, we have monthly support groups, one for the caregiver and one for those that have lost on the sec third Tuesday and Wednesday of the month at Ronald McDonald House. And it's, it's, you have created a new family environment for these people. I mean, to, it's got to be really something if you guys all connect and you guys understand you're going through the same thing, right? It's really oh my gosh, you powerful. know, I, for me, it truly, these people that I have connected with are like family and we support each other, encourage each other. And there is something about being in a group that understands. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, people always say, well, oh, like they're going to go ahead and call a hotline if they're feeling that way. Yeah. Well, I think that the hotlines are important mm -hmm. because sometimes family, they just don't get it. And right. I think that for us in our community, we all get it. Right. But that doesn't mean that my family gets it. Right. So you want to go to a, hot, a hotline or um, Pine Rest Urgent Care mm -hmm. because you know there's a guarantee that somebody's going to understand. Right. So maybe the person that is feeling those thoughts, not maybe they're not going to call but as a family member, you can call and get guidance on how to go about Absolutely. treating the situation. Absolutely. Right. Well, thank you so much. This is such an important topic, and a Merry Christmas to you. Well, thank you. Merry Christmas thank to you. Thank you so much. So once again, all the details right there on your screen for the I Understand support groups, make sure to check them out. Don't, don't let this drag on any longer, you guys. I understand loveheals.org is the place to go.